Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On the eve of, I mean, on the 111th anniversary of Women's Day, it's a pleasure for me to write a self poem and to read it out. It's a poem that I have written. I have been writing it for a few years, a few lines here and there, and this year I thought of concluding it. It is it's very dear for me, and I have been adding a few lines as the years went by. It shows a psychological transformation and journey that I personally was on. I hope you like it as much as I enjoyed penning it over the years. It is called Journey. I feel the presence around me now and also much of late, a faint whisper in my ear and I welcome my new fate. It's imperative that she's here. It's all for crucial reasons. She's here to teach me all about the earth and her varied seasons. I have gathered for all this all my life. I hope I am prepared. As once the transformation takes, I will be open, raw and bare. To connect the mind and the body, a wondrous gift within itself, to give purpose while we walk the land, denotes wisdom and great wealth. Perfect is the time for me, I suppose that's why she came. I have weathered warm sun in my face and battered the torrential rain. I have walked through the most beautiful forests the world has ever seen and also witnessed fire and drought and all of it in between. I have travelled down and through a crooked river here and there and into the darkest, deepest caves hardly knowing that I was there. I have tripped and fallen and scratched my knee oh so many times and found myself in Timbuktu without a single band. I have laughed so hard at times, the tears came streaming down my face. I have cried on shoulders just as hard, never seen the trace. This journey takes me to the sky as well as its limits and to the deepest depths below the ocean within minutes. How comforting it is to now be round the last bend, the power down the long gliding road towards the near end. No longer do I have to be something that I am not. I can revel in the wisdom granted that society has forgot. A woman appears before me now. She must be twice my age. Her beauty shines within herself like a valiant, mighty mage. She beckons me towards her and all that I feel is warm within her a beauty manifesting as she haunts. Congratulations, my dear. You've almost made it through. Believe me, it's the easy part with this process that you'll renew. You've been the maiden with carefree laughter that always filled your day and then became the woman who ultimately found her way. But now, as you are standing here, the two women that you have been comes the most important role for you, your own self-appointed queen. You will harness gifts of this earth and use them all for good and keep throughout your words and hands as now you know you should. The knowledge you have gathered, good and bad, throughout the years will now be channeled back again to diminish a few years. The keys to unlock so many doors are there for the taking, it's funny that they weren't there before. It's a mystery in the making. And all round, excuse me, and all you have right now and here is all that you need. The third and most important stage within your life, I'm sure, thought, is the wondrous gift that's granted of how you became the queen. The woman that's before you and the one that you see, there's a mirror both of you and now that is me. Thank you so much.